Hi everyone, it is time for my January reading wrap up as well as my February TBR. And I read four books in January, so that's a pretty decent number. The first book that I completed was a comic book and it was Marvel's comic book adaptation of Jane Austen's Pride and Prejudice. So this is a classic novel. I'm pretty sure everybody knows what Pride and Prejudice is about. So I'm not going to go too far into a summary of it. You can get this in five issues, uh, but I read it in a collected edition. So you can get this both ways. Overall, I really enjoyed this. I had fun seeing the way the characters were interpreted in art and what the artists thought that the characters would look like. And I also thought it was a really solid adaptation in terms of what they did with it. Obviously not everything from the book is featured in it, but you know, all the important plot points are in there. So if you want a just good overview of Pride and Prejudice, this is something really good to pick up. And I also got a little bit of a giggle for the artwork for the covers of each issue of the book because they made them look like magazine covers, which I thought was just hilarious. It gave me like a giggle every time I got like to a new section of the book. I only gave this four stars though, and the only reason I did that was because it's obviously not as good as sitting down and reading Jane Austen's Pride and Prejudice, but it's still really fun to read. So, you know, if you're interested in reading it, it's definitely something cool to pick up. Next book I completed was Silver Linings Playbook by Matthew Quick. For those of you that don't know anything about the book or the movie, this book is about a man named Pat who leaves a mental institution and finds himself having to navigate his relationships with his family members as well as kind of navigating a new friendship with a sort of also mentally unstable girl named Tiffany. Uh, he also has this really great fervor that he is going to better himself and through bettering himself get his wife Nikki back into his life. I personally loved this book. I enjoyed getting to know the characters. I liked the writing style. I I liked all the events that happened throughout the story. I don't want to elaborate too much on my thoughts on the book because I'm thinking in the next couple of months I'm going to do a full review video of this book and elaborate more then. And also I want to review the movie and I think it should be an interesting couple of videos when I do get to that because... Um, I actually did read the book before I watched the movie. Definitely, it's a five-star book to me. Then I completed The Bride Collector by Ted Decker. This is the story of a serial killer who is on the loose and FBI agent Brad Rains has to track this dude down and to do this, he utilizes the help of a group of very highly intelligent people who reside in a mental institution. Uh, one of them happens to be a girl named Paradise who has, you know, a particular gift for trying to track this dude down. Uh, and also some other crazy things going on with her. Uh, that's basically what The Bride Collector is about. This book would probably be found in the Christian fiction section because Ted Decker books are considered Christian fiction, but I would say that you could read this whether you're a Christian or not because it's pretty much a straightforward thriller. It did keep me interested and I thought the characters were interesting. However, it was a book where I liked it, but I definitely didn't fall in love with it. For some reason, I went into it thinking that it was going to be something more than the traditional thriller novel, and it definitely was just the traditional thriller novel, and as somebody that reads a lot of thrillers and watches a lot of thrillers, um, it was kind of your basic serial killer tracking down script story and I just kind of wanted more but you know that's not necessarily a bad thing. It definitely made it predictable for me because I could hit 
all the plot points just from what I've read and watched. I think it would probably be really good if you have never tried the thriller genre before. It would be a good first time thriller. Uh, but for a long time thriller reader, you're not going to get much difference. Um, I also had a couple little issues with it. There is a bit of a insta-love case going on in this, which usually wouldn't bother me. I don't know, I can usually shrug off insta-love, but for some reason I had trouble shrugging it off in this, I think because it sort of slowed up the story and I was like, let's just get to the case, okay? But I will say that the author is really excellent at getting into the minds of all the characters, which I found really excellent and great. And I also felt like it was a pretty well-researched book. So that made what would have been probably a three-star book a four-star book. Lastly, I reread one of my favorite books, and that is Ella Enchanted by Gail Carson Levine. This is a fairy tale retelling of Cinderella, and it is about Ella who has been cursed by a fairy that she has to always be obedient, which causes quite a bit of trouble in her life. Because when you think about it, that's not really a good gift to give somebody at their birth. I've loved this book since I was a child, since I first read it I, as a kid, I loved it. And I love it more every time I reread it. I don't reread it often because I like to forget it a little bit. I love every time I reread it how I see something new and different in the story and I feel like as an adult it was really uh, easy for me this time around to very much connect to the emotions of the character. And I love that Ella is such a strong character. Um, she's just a really strong female character, which is great in a YA sort of novel. So yeah, of course I give this five stars because I love it. On to my to be read for February. So my goal for the beginning of February is to, first of all, just complete some of my current reads. I am currently reading City of Bones by Cassandra Clear. This is a reread for me. I haven't read any of the books after this book in the Mortal Instruments series, but I'm rereading it because I want to get to those books. And what better way to get back into the world again and get to know the characters again. The next book that I'm currently reading is Wildflower by Drew Barrymore. I'm enjoying it so far, especially because I'm listening to it in audiobook and Drew Barrymore reads it herself. I am currently reading We Were Liars by E. Lockhart. I didn't really intend to start this. I just thought, oh, I'm going to pick it up and make sure I like the writing style. But then I kind of did. And I realized it had really short chapters. So thus, it seemed like it was going to be a really fast read. So I'm really intrigued to continue this and finish it. And the other current read that I am reading is La Morte de Author. This one, I probably won't finish this month because I'm just reading it really slowly. I, the structure of this is kind of that, you know, each chapter is its own kind of King Arthur type story. So you can kind of read it whenever you want. I just pick it up every once in a while. So it probably will take me a few months to finish this, but it's still on my to be read list. If I finish a few of those four that I just mentioned that I'm currently reading, I am planning to read the third book in the Parasol Proctorate series, Blameless, because you know, I'm still trying to finish that series. And I'm really anxious to know how the cliffhanger at the end of the second book you know, resolves. I hope it resolves. And I am also going to reread the second volume of the Sandman comic because I said that I was going to read it, you know, several wrap up videos back and yeah, still haven't reread it. So hopefully get into it this month. That is it for today. I hope you enjoyed this little video and I'm very handsy today. I don't know why. And I will see you next week uh, with my video, which is five things I like about comic books slash graphic novels. So I hope you will check that out and I will see you then. So thank you for watching. Bye.